What's going on, guys? What's going on? I know, I know, I'm sorry for the absence, but it's been a hectic two weeks for me, man. It's been brutal. Uh, you know, between two birthdays back to back, I had to attend Thanksgiving. I didn't even know it was Thanksgiving, so I had to rush and do all types of stuff. Then being in Georgia, just got back uh, yesterday. It's been brutal. It's been pretty hectic. And uh, when I'm at other people's homes, I don't like to make videos at their home, at their house. I don't feel like I'm in my natural environment. Um, you know, you got yelling and screaming and music, and it's not my house to say anything. So I like to be in my own home in front of my camera to do what I want to do. So yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to talk about a particular topic that I know we're all all aware of. It's the bear market. Yeah, I'm going to give my two cents on it. And uh, I know it might not be the most popular thing to say, but hear me out. I think the bear market is a good thing right now. And I know a lot of people are freaking out. Oh my gosh, why, why would you say that? You know, I've been here for some time. You know, I got to watch the crypto space evolve naturally, organically. You know, but during 2017 bull run, it just drew in so many newbie investors, amateur investors who don't understand what they're buying. They're just buying it because their friend at work by the water cooler told them that they 10x on this particular crypto or their family member 20x on this other crypto. So they just throw money into the projects, not understanding the tech behind it. That they find the tech useful for them. You know, you hear a lot of people in these other communities um, hoping for institutional money to come in to push up the value or the banks to come in to push up the value of their crypto. But they don't find the crypto that they're holding useful to them. When I use an EOS blockchain, I find it useful to me. I wake up, log into my scatter, go on Novosphere, look at the sub articles on there, go on EOS Nice, play a few rounds, click my bet dividends. Um, Hop on Lumios, do a few polls, which I think I'm maxed out. I don't see no more polls. I don't know what's going on. I try to get to rank number one. I ran out of polls. So Lumios asked some more polls for me so I could get so I could get, get to rank number one. But um point is I use the network, the blockchain for myself. I'm not really hoping that some institutional money will come in to boost the price up. And that's the only thing that's holding me to this particular project is the speculation of a, a big whale to come in to bring the price up. You know, it'd be nice if the price goes up because of whale, but that's not what's holding me to the U.S. project because I want to voluntarily use it. Now, you have a lot of projects, like I said, or you have a, a, a lot of people involved because they're hoping that somebody will come in and bring the price up. Now that the bear market is here, it's pulling it all away. People are going to be very picky and very selective because the hype train is done. You can't, The hype is done. You can't run your project just purely off of hype anymore. You have to have some tech behind it. And there's a lot of projects out there that just hype trains, pure hype trains. And um, that blink is pulled off. You know, if you don't have the tech, you don't have a real future that that might potentially blossom into something awesome that's worth putting your hard-earned money into, people aren't going to put their money into it. You know, there's a lot of projects that just promise the moon and don't really have nothing backing them. Um, so I'm actually glad. This is just like to me, I look at it like the human body. You know, the human body can only take in so much toxicity before it has to flush itself out. And I feel that's what's happening in the crypto space. This is between the whole 2017 bull run, every mom and dad, everybody getting into this crypto space, not understanding what it is or why they need it, and just buying it is now flushing itself out. And now we can get back into the main thing is building. Building to, for real adoption, um, not just speculation. And I, now we're going to see who got what it takes, what projects really have what it takes. So I'm glad. I'm actually kind of glad. I'm not, if you're a long-term, um, uh, I guess, hobbler, I hate using that word. You will understand, if you've been here for a while, you will understand that this is just the ebb and flows of the crypto space. It goes up, it goes down. It might not have been this bad, but you got to understand, it, it, it can't stay down forever. You know, even though I do feel, honestly, I do feel the ecosystem is manipulated. Um, I noticed that, especially, I noticed that for a while, but when I EOS Black came about, came about, I was wondering why the price of EOS Black wasn't going down, but the, all the major cryptos were just tanking. But EOS Black stayed at 25 cents. I couldn't figure that out. I'm like, I knew it was, I knew the market's manipulated, but I wanted to see why. This just proved the fact to me that why is this crypto that's kind of hard to get to, no one knows about, it's not touched. But now... I guess the whales found out about U.S. Black because it went up to 37 cents, I think, last night, and it dropped down to 11 cents. So I guess they found out they discovered U.S. Black. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know the market is manipulated. I, I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point, but the thing about manipulation, you can only manipulate a market for so long before you have to bring it up because you don't want to be the one stuck holding the bag. 
If a whale is manipulating it, they bring down the price. People will lose interest in crypto, at least the average newbies. They will leave. And then the whales will be stuck holding the bags of coins. They're not going to want to be stuck holding the bags. They want to bring back their interest uh, and people's uh, bring back people to the ecosystem of cryptocurrency. So an only real way of doing that is to bring up the value. If the price of everything just stays stuck bottom base forever, no one's going to really, um, at least the amateur investors aren't going to want to come back into the crypto space. Um, so like I said, I know this is not going to last forever. If you understand the technology you, you're buying, if you actually in a project that has technology, you will buy it. But if you're just in a project that's run off of speculation, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's like a tough call whether to buy or sell. But, um, you know, I, I'm in the U.S. Telegram the other day and, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty active in there now. Um, but I, I was watching, uh, I was reading somebody's comments and posts. But I guess somebody's worried about whether they should buy or sell. I don't know whether they should sell their EOS at two dollars because it keeps going down. It's at three dollars, and they're worried about it going to two dollars. So they're trying to debate whether they should sell their EOS. And I'm gonna give my thoughts on what they should do. And this is not really investment advice. This is just my personal opinion. If you're debating whether you should sell your EOS because it might go down to two dollars, then you should sell your EOS. I know that's, that's crazy to say, you know, a, a U.S. like maximalist telling you to sell your U.S. I'd rather have someone who understands and did their research about the coins that you're holding in your wallet and is willing to buy those coins off of you for the cheap price and for them to have it because they understand the potential of what you have. i much rather them have it than someone who's just holding on to coins that don't understand what they're holding on to. They're just holding on it because... They're speculating on it. They didn't do their research. They don't understand what U.S. is going, where it's going, or what's what is uh, what it's about, and what it has accomplished. I'd rather someone who appreciates what you have, holding on what you got, rather than just ho you holding on to it and just speculating on it and not contributing to the the blockchain, um, the the community. So um, that's just my two cents on that. You know, I I much rather the guy who did his research and homework buy the coins off of you for cheaper. And him hold on to it and him contribute to the community because he understands where this project is going rather than someone just holding on to it speculating on it and and following it and uh, debating what they should sell on telegram if you're debating about it sell it somebody else is gonna buy it off you regardless so um you know i'm not trying to be malice about it but you know there's just plenty if you sell your coin somebody else is going to buy it off you and i have a feeling that you're three years from now you're going to regret it selling your coins your eos but that's my two cents on that um not gonna dive too, too deep on it uh, i definitely want to give out a shout out to the us writer he has um a website now uh, if you're not familiar he, he does uh the medium articles uh, i'll leave the link in the description go check it out go show some support we need a lot more people doing uh voicing stuff for eos and uh this is actually a good thing so i'm gonna leave the link to uh his telegram group because yes he has a telegram group now uh, his own telegram group and uh his website so go show him some love um that's pretty much really it there's really not much going on i'm not really that nervous about the price i don't really care you know there's a lot of projects as you actually being built you know if you're like okay for instance if you're still debating whether you should sell your us because it's going out to two dollars compare us to other projects that's been around for a very long time i would say U.S. has been around for six, five, six months, and it accomplished more than what projects have done in the past three years. I, I would say that's a good thing. I, I would say you should hold on to it. You know, you have Ethereum that's been out for three years. A lot of the dApps that were supposed to be built on Ethereum. You know, a lot of people are not understanding. A lot of these things that, you know, all these ICOs, these ICOs came about because Ethereum really couldn't handle the demand on its network. So they have to start their own blockchain, like how U.S. started its own blockchain, um, Neo, Tron, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these dApps like Gala, for instance, can't really scale on the Ethereum blockchain. So we have something like Void on the EOS blockchain. You don't really hear too much about Gala anymore, but Void is working successfully. It's working fine. And if you don't understand what Void is, is you can rent out your CPU power from your PC, and uh, you can receive a dividend. That's kind of like what Gala project was supposed to be about on Ethereum platform. You don't hear about it because Ethereum can't really scale. Um, so that should be the lesson to you. If, if you're not sure whether you should hold the U.S. and this is not investment advice, we should compare it to other projects that have been around for a lot longer and see where it's at today from where those projects are at, where they're at today. 
and see if they compare. Um, my two cents, just my two cents. Um, there's been a lot of things happening in the U.S. ecosystem. You know, a lot of great, awesome news about, about all these uh, games that are coming to the U.S. blockchain. Like Blinkos, awesome, awesome. I like seeing those type of games. I like the gambling games. I do. They're cool. Um, not really into gambling, you know, especially I got a kid coming on the way. I can't be blowing off all my EOS on some gamble. Uh, I can't do that. So <laughs> they're cool. It shows the, the honestly, honestly, the gambling stuff actually shows the overall transactions that EOS can handle because it needs high speeds. These gambling games, they need high speeds and EOS can deliver that. So it shows other uh, potential dApps that are on the Ethereum blockchain, seeing what EOS can handle. It might might way to come over on our side. You know, it's showing, it's proving that it can handle these things, the demand. Um, so I, in that way, in that, in that perspective, I do like the gambling dApps. I just don't like so many. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, it, honestly, the cool thing about it, you don't need to go to Las Vegas anymore. You have Las Vegas in your pocket. We disrupted Las Vegas. So, hey, kudos to that. I don't think we uh, thought we were going to do that, but... You know, honestly, there's no reason to go to Las Vegas anymore. But, you know, that's just my two cents on that, guys. I'm not going to go too deep in this video. I should be making another video later on. It's funny. But, you know, guys, I'm still alive. I'm still kicking in. <laughs> um, but, yeah, guys, I'm going to end it here and see you.